so uh, in this series of lectures where uh, we have discussed uh, so many devices which are used for the measurement of the static pressure in the fluid uh, for example like various youtube manometer differential manometers there is one uh, important manometer which is called as inclined tube manometer so some special situations these kind of manometers are employed so uh, before starting this start, uh, this discussion first of all we uh, need to understand why this kind of uh, manometer is uh, required for the measurement of the pressures in various cases so let's take an example suppose uh, there is, uh, is a chamber and this chamber uh, is having some pressure and there is one another chamber this chamber is called as a and this chamber is called b now the pressure inside this chamber is uh, pb and the pressure inside this chamber is called as pa pa now suppose any kind of fluid or anything which is filled and we need to figure out the pressure difference between these two chambers so let's connect uh, this particular thing with uh, uh, any kind of uh, tube and let's see how it works this is connected with tube and inside this one a fluid is there And the third fluid, which is we are uh, we have inserted in our uh, this tube for the measurement of pressure in order to measure the pressure difference between the uh, two points. If we can see what happens is there, we have to figure out the difference in the level. So liquid in the left tube is at this level, and liquid at right tube has a this level. In order to measure the pressure, we need to figure out the difference between the these two levels okay so the difference between these two levels are very low so sometimes it will be very hard to differentiate between the level of the fluids in two tube this kind of uh, situations arrive whenever the pressure difference between the two chambers is very low when it is low so in in such scenario whenever this kind of thing is happening such situations what we can use we need to use a inclined tube manometer so here inclined uh, manometer uh, is given uh, given over here if you can see there's instead of connecting a direct uh, tube a uh, inclined tube has been used where a third fluid okay first fluid is here second fluid is here and third fluid is uh, is here and instead of using a u tube uh, inclined tube is used now if you if you can see the difference in the level is this one so, so in order to measure the level of this much difference you have an availability of the tube which is this much in the lens so in in order to measure this pressure difference you need to measure this length so let's let's uh, uh, try to understand how this will work and using the uh, simple problem we will figure out how to how to solve such kind of problem problem we are going to discuss is as follows where we need to determine the difference in the pressure between the point a and e point a is left here only and point e which is over here and if the manometer liquid is mercury so this liquid is your mercury which is the manometer liquid and the point uh, the pipe uh, at a contains the water so here is water and the left pipe uh, sorry right pipe has a gas now the uh, density of the mercury is given to you which is this value so uh, using the simple manometer rule we have discussed earlier in our lectures we can simply solve this problem so let's start now we have to figure out the difference between the uh, uh, pressure at A and pressure e, uh, at E. 
So the required thing is the required thing is P A minus P E. Okay. So uh, let's start at location A. We don't know what is the pressure at A. So considering that pressure is A. Now this is P A and this is P E. Now once you are uh, going downwards from location A to B, so you will be having an increase of pressure gauge that will be equivalent to height that is 400 mm. So that is 0.4 meter multiplied by the density of the fluid over there that is gamma of W. Gamma W is the specific weight of the water. Once you are moving from location B to C, again a gauge pressure will increase and this pressure will be this pressure will be 0.1 meter height of this one and multiplied by gamma h g once you are moving from location c to d so here there is an important thing we we need to notice that uh, that how much length we are moving upwards or downwards that is uh, also important so uh, let's understand this task whenever we are moving from location c to d so the if you can see the difference in the level is this much so that it will be easy to understand for you we are measuring the distance bd along the length of the tube so in order to measure this much change in the height we are having available of this length l so that's the beauty of the this uh, inclined tube manometer where in order to measure the pressure difference uh, a small pressure difference you are having a increase you are having a good amount of length in the manometer and this will help you to figure out the difference between the two levels now so once you are moving from c to d you will be having an decrease in the gauge pressure that will be minus and density uh, of the fluid is gamma hg and how much length you have increased that is delta h so delta h is the this length l and this angle is your theta so you can uh, straight forward write that l sine theta and if gas is go over there you can assume that there is uh, this is weightless so density of the air you can assume zero so whatever the pressure at location d will be the pressure location at e so you can directly write that this pressure is e now so p a minus p e using the equation one you can straight forward write that gamma gamma of h g multiplied by l sine theta minus 0.4 gamma w minus 0.1 gamma h g now putting all the values over here this will give you p a minus p e is equal to so gamma of this h g is given to you this gamma of h g is 13 550 so 13 550 multiplied by 9.81 multiplied by l is your 0.7 meter and sine theta is your sine 20 degree minus 0.4 comma w is your 1000 multiplied by 9.81 minus 0.1 multiplied by 13 550 multiplied by 9.81 this is the value that you need to calculate in order to get the pa minus pe now if you calculate the first term uh, will look like this one second term will look like this one and third term uh, will come out like this one and if you sum up all these things this will be coming out to be 
difference between the pressure we got the unit will be this uh, we used everything in uh, pascal so this answer will be pascal so you can write uh, this answer in kilopascal that is pa minus p is equal to 14.6 kpa now there's an important discussion we must uh, need to uh, discuss which is let's see now if you can see there is a very a small uh, very small difference in the elevation you can see this difference is let's say delta c d however for noting down this change in the elevation you are having a good amount of length to be measured over here and let's say this length is l c d so your LCD and delta CD are correlated. LCD and delta CD are correlated such that uh, your LCD is delta CD divided by sine theta. Theta is the angle you are measuring from the horizontal. So in this case, this is 20 degree. So what exactly is there? even if this value is very low you are getting a good amount of length to measure the pressure so figure out the difference between the two levels now there are two important things which are that uh, for the practical reasons the and the inclination of the tube should not be less than so minimum degree you have to maintain is five degree from the horizontal so for this inclination we are talking about this should not be less than should not be less than 5 degree otherwise it will be very hard for us to figure out the difference in the elevation and also in such cases uh, the uh, location of the meniscus will be hard to identify so the effect of the surface tension will magnify it in case of the any impurities are present inside the Tube. So let's summarize what we have studied. So let's quickly sum up the uh, learnings we got from the inclined manometer. So this kind of manometer should be used for measuring the small pressure changes. And additional thing is that uh, angles less than uh, five degrees should not be uh, used because these are not practical. And additional thing is that uh, this happens whenever a small angle uh, is used for the inclined manometer. The exact location of meniscus cannot be uh, easily de detectable. And also the effect of surface tension will be magnified if there are any surface impurities within which is available in the tube.